When they say interception or when they say Iron Dome, that is colloquially a much broader umbrella of defenses. You have American THAAD anti-air uh, defense systems that were sent to Israel after Operation True Promise 1 or 2. I think it was after 2 that they sent those because those had direct impact sites. You have the THAAD system, which is insanely expensive. The THAAD system is both insanely expensive and America can't consistently resupply, okay? We've seen some of the THAAD systems actually fail as well. You also have the aero defense systems. Those are for ballistic missiles, okay? You also have the David Sling system, again, for ballistic missiles. And then you have the Iron Dome. What is actually known as the Iron Dome is an Israeli-American project that is there for short-range missiles and drones, right? All of these systems that they have have to be consistently replenished. I think the media NBC use, tends to use Iron Dome as a stand-in for Israel's multi-layered missile defense, which is very misleading. I'm interpreting the NBC report as entire multi-layered defense system only intercepting 65% of the missiles, including David Sling, Arrow, and Thad. Iron Dome itself is pretty against ballistic missiles. It's kind of a last ditch effort as we saw when they deployed like 20 Iron Dome missiles and none of them intercepted the ballistic missile in that video that we saw a night ago. That's the main question. My speculation is Israel will run out sometime next week of all the big boys that are necessary for the actual defense because the ballistic missiles are the big boys. Those are the ones that they have to intercept the drones are limited in their impact you can overwhelm with the drones and if you don't have any air defenses then drones can be impactful but clearly israel is is very good in terms of the tamir interceptors which also can run out for the record 